All right, guys, now we're going through our kettlebell clean series. So you can see the kettlebell between her feet is kind of angled towards us. That way, when she reaches down, she can grab across, she can stand up, she'll bring her elbow around, and she'll rack it up on her shoulder. Now, if she's doing consecutive repetitions, notice she keeps it off of the ground, right? It floats, she pulls, she turns her hand over. Now, she can take a moment of a break. If you guys feel like it's slamming the back of your arm, that means you don't actually have to slam your arm. Um, that means that the ball itself, and I'll actually demonstrate this, the ball itself, instead of staying down and coming around, is coming up and slamming your hand. So you may hear the cue, keep the ball down. That way when you come up, it's a nice smooth motion. Again, if it's banging your arm, that means in some way, shape, and form, it's coming up over your hand and slamming your hand. Do a few more for us. Yep, clean. Yep, she's quickly bringing her elbow through. Now we can easily add in a press. She can rack it and then press it over her head. Same concept, she racks it, presses it over her head. Again, typically if I say you need to do 10, it's 10 per side, but you can always Alternate sides if you need to, switching every five, whatever it is you need to do. The clean and press. Now the last one is a clean squat and press. You start it off the, just above the ground, you clean it, you squat it, you press it over your head. This is more complicated, this gets your heart rate up a lot higher. The need to switch back and forth between sides is a little bit higher of a need because you're moving that kettlebell through such a range of motion. But this is our clean squat and press with a kettlebell.